Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, January 26, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Qualys discovered a new privilege escalation vulnerability in Unix or really Linux based systems relying on Polkit. Polkit is pretty much installed in part of any modern uh, Unix uh, distribution. It's not necessarily really just Linux, but of course, these days, mostly people are dealing with uh, Linux. PolicyKit and PKExec, the binary that sort of comes with it and allows you uh, to actually execute commands as other users, is a little bit similar to the more popular sudo, but really a more modern and more fine-grained version of it. So with PKExec, which is an SUID root binary, you're able uh, to execute commands as different users and uh, you have then some restricted access as to what you're able to do with these commands. With sudo on the other hand, once I give you sudo permissions to execute a certain command as a certain user, I may be able to restrict uh, what the parameters or so you can pass to it. But uh, once you're running the command, there's very little else I can do. And with so many commands, for example, being able to spawn shells and such, it's very difficult to really get that fine crane control in sudo, which is why we do have polkit or policy kit and pk exec for that more fine grained control but well uh, sadly something went wrong and something went wrong 12 years ago that's when the vulnerability was introduced personally I haven't really looked for an exploit yet but uh, boyan he wrote it up uh, for us he was able to create an exploit that worked reliably across different distributions within a relatively short time. Now, Boyan is pretty good, but his assessment was it's really not that hard to come up with an exploit, so there's probably uh, one already floating around. Patches are also available. So patch, patch quickly, and uh, that should take care of it. Also, if you are collecting your logs and someone is attempting to exploit uh, this vulnerability, you will see a message in your logs that the value for the shell variable was not found in the Etsy shells file. Well, it's called the vulnerability pwn kit, so you may see that name being used for it. Then we have an update from Brad about Emotet. Remember last week, Brad wrote about how a sample of Emotet he has been looking at uh, was cr- creating this odd traffic to 0.0.0.0, which really didn't make much sense and uh, was also sort of a nice way to detect infected uh, machines. Turns out it may have been actually a mistake and not sure if the authors of uh, Emotet figured it out themselves or read Brad's uh, post about it, but it appears to be fixed now and Emotet is back to instead doing its usual block list checks for the victim's IP address. This is also a good thing to look for now. If you're running a legitimate mail server, you will see a lot of uh, these uh, DNS lookups for these various uh, spam lists, but you should never really see your own IP address being looked up. It's usually the sender's IP address that's being looked up here. So uh, that's an indicator that you may have a spam bot like... uh, Emotet uh, on your system. And one of uh, the piece of software that apparently is getting attacked quite a bit uh, with log for shell exploits uh, these days is VMware Horizon. There are a number of well-documented uh, cases. I'll uh, link uh, to a selection of cases that Synet uh, wrote up uh, rather nicely. But what they sort of have in common is that uh, the original compromise happens via an exposed VMware Horizon server. They're then deploying a custom web shell in the VM Blast Secure Gateway service. And with that, they gain access to essentially the organization's network. 
Crypto miners, uh, Cobalt Strike and Ransomware are just uh, some of the payloads that have been observed being introduced via this path. And it uh, turns out that VMware Horizon is quite commonly exposed. So certainly it's out there. Uh, there are updates. Uh, there are also bulletins from VMware. I'll link uh, to their main one here uh, with additional guidance regarding how to update this. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.